Okay guys, so today we're going to be talking about adding fractions that have the same denominator and adding and subtracting fractions that have the different denominator. So the first thing that you need to know is when you add and subtract fractions with the same denominator, all you need to do is add the numerators and the denominator stays the same. So for example, we have 1 over 12 plus 3 over 12. Our denominators are already the same. So all we have to do is add our two numerators, and we end up with 4 over 12. The denominator remains the same no matter, what, no matter what. Once we have 4 over 12, we need to ask ourselves, can we reduce? Is there a number that both of these are divisible by? And in this case, both 4 and 12 are able to be divided by 4. So if I divide both by 4, I end up with 1 over 3. That's all you need to do if they have the same numerator. So even if we were to have 2 over 6 plus 4 over 6, well, we just add our numerator. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 stays the same. And if I were to reduce, this would just become 1. So, Or if I were to even have um, 3 over 7 plus... 2 over 7. Well, 3 plus 2 is what? 5. So I'll just end up getting 5 over 7. Like that's all, all you need to do. All you need to do to figure this out is if I were to go and just add these together, 3 plus 2 gives me 5 over 7. And that's it. It doesn't get any more difficult than that for adding and subtracting fractions. Now, if I was to have to subtract the fraction, well, we would do basically the same thing. So if we take that first example that we did, where we had 1 over 12. Actually, let's go and make it a little different. So if we had 3 over 12 minus 1 over 12, well, I just go, all right, well, 3 minus 1 is 2, and 12 stays the same, and now I just need to reduce. If I divide both by 2, I end up with 1 over 6. Or if I had something like 5 over 9 minus 2 over 9. Well, 5 minus 2 would give me 3. My 9 stays the same. Both of these have a common di di divisor, which is a divider, which is 3. Divide both by 3 and I end up with 1 over 3. That's all you need to do if they have the same uh, numerator. Now, if they have, they're different. Okay, if they have something different. So if we have, we're adding subtraction fractions with different denominators. All right. Well, the rule for that is to add and subtract fractions with different denominators. You rewrite them using a common denominator and then add the numerators. The denominator remains the same. So if we have 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4, I need to go and find a common denominator of 3 and 4. So there's a couple of ways I can do that. I can write down the multiples and just go, all right, well, I have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. And do the same thing for 4, where I have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and do the same thing for 4, where I have, sorry guys, let me take extend my page, or I can do the same thing for 4, where I have 4, 8, 4, 8, 12, 16, Oh look, they have 12 and 12 in common. Or I can use factors. I can use factors and go and be like, all right, well, I have 4 and I have 3. 4 times, if I break down my factors, 2 times 2 is 4, multiplied by 3. I would actually just take all my 
my prime factors and go 2 times 2 times 3. And that ends up giving me 2 times 2 is 4 times 3. Oh look, I end up with 12 again. So I know that to add these two together, I need to make sure I have the common denominator. So what number times 3 will give me 12? Well, I know it's 4. And what number times 4 will give me 12? Well, I know it's 3. So 4 times 1 is 4. And 4 times 3 is 12. 1 times 3 is 1. And 4 times 3 is 12. If I add them together, I end up getting... Sorry, 1 times 3 is 3. If I add them together, what do I end up getting? Well, 4 plus 3 is 7 over 12. That's all you need to do. It doesn't get any more complicated than that. And if I needed to, if let's say for the sake of argument, you take the exact same problem and I needed to subtract instead. So if this was 1 over 3 minus 4 over 3, uh, minus 1 over 4, I would just go, okay, well, 1 times 4 is 4, 3 times 4 is 12. And I would do the same thing. And I would end up, well, 4 minus 3 is 1. And 12 stays the same. I end up with 1 over 12 if I'm subtracting. That's all you need to do if you're adding subtraction fractions. It never changes. No matter what you have going on, it's always the same. So if I were to have something, a different number, where let's say I had 6 over 14 plus 9 over 7, well, I'd have to go through these and be like, okay, well, I can try and find my factor, like do a factor tree, and I have 2 times 7, and I got 7 over here. Well, what is it that they have in common? Well, they both have 7 in common. So I know that a 7 is a number that goes into both of them. So if I leave out 7, so I can go and look at this and like, all right, well, I have my 14 and 7. Well, 14 is already my greatest common divisor, because I have 7 and 7, 2 and 2. So if I go and take, my 7's cancel each other out, so I end up having 1 7 times 2. That tells me that my uh, lowest common denominator is going to be 14. Well, I already have a 14 here. So this number doesn't even need to change. But I can multiply 7 by 2 and 9 by 2, and I end up getting 6 over 14, which stays the same, plus 9 over 2 is 18. 9 over 2 is 18, and 7 over 2 is 14. And then I could just add these together. So 6 plus 18. Come on, 6 plus 18, guys. 24. And 14 stay the same, and I end up with my fraction, and that's it. Now, I can reduce this, which I'm going to go and talk to you guys about in the next video, but that's all you need to do. And if we were to subtract, we do the exact same thing. So I hope this video helps you guys out for adding and subtracting fractions, and uh, I'll see you in class. Take care.